Having built the Wookiee Fluttercraft the other day, which by the way, I think turned out amazing. Definitely check out the video because there were quite a few restrictions and overall, I just used the correct Lego set to begin with. And for those of you that didn't watch the video, basically I took a non-Lego Star Wars set and turned it into a Star Wars ship. It's almost reignited my passion for them sort of mocks. Taking a Lego set or taking a few Lego sets and making a minifigure scout. Now you already know what we're doing in this video. You've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, unless you've stumbled upon this in autoplay. In which case, today we are going to be taking four 332 Ahsoka Clone Trooper Battle Pack. 332nd Clone Trooper Battle Packs and making a minifigure scout swamp speeder. Now we do end up with quite a few pieces left over, so we haven't used exactly four battle packs but you might be able to see i've portioned these out based on similar bricks so we've used these three by three wedges from at least three of the sets all of the three by three round bricks or tiles i'll show you what i mean in a minute they're all gone we're also missing most of the two by plate there's a quite a bit of one by plate and a load of clips and technic bits because we only have that one connection oh look the seats have only been used from one set, so there are a ton of extra pieces. And I've also had a few questions about memberships. Now, as you can see, we have our three channel members as of recording this video on our members board. And if you do become a member, you will get your name on this growing board. It's a custom 3D printed tile. This isn't written on or scribbled on. This is a 3D printed tile, you can see the letters do stand out from the tile and I think they look really, really cool. But on top of the really awesome tile, you also get access to a Discord where we can have a conversation. And not only you and me, but the whole community can chime in and we can discuss new Lego sets, any Lego that has been bought, some of your questions that you may have that might get lost eventually in the comments. I always make sure to answer and talk to the memberships before answering the comments. If you choose to upgrade to Brick Tier, you also get access to every single one of my instructions for only £3 a month, which most of my instructions are around that two, three pound price mark anyway. So if you're looking at buying two sets of instructions, I recommend just one off for the month. Join in the membership. You get your name on a tile on the members board, as well as all the other perks I've mentioned, a few extra emojis and icons for when you're commenting on videos. And on top of all that, you get access to every single set of instructions I've ever made just like this 330 second Swamp Speeder, which should be going up on the Discord some point later today. And I might stagger it for Rebrickable. The instructions might be up a bit later. So you're also getting instructions before everyone else. And the Wookiee Fluttercraft is also already up on the members Discord. And I would have put that on Rebrickable at some point too. So if you want to support the channel, one pound a month, three pound. I will also be putting names on the members board if you choose to donate either through YouTube. I think there's a few other links you can donate for. You will also get your username put up on this board. So basically everyone that goes that extra bit to support the channel, excluding Rebrickable, will get their name on a tile. And here we have the Swamp Speeder in all its glory. It is minifigure scale, which is one to 45 of a life size scale. For any model builders or minifigure scale Lego fans out there. And I think it's actually quite a clean model. It definitely looks a bit thinner, a bit flatter at the base than the Battle Pack model. And I had a little look back, even one of the older Lego sets sort of brick up the base, but the Swamp Speeder in universe is quite thin. Okay, perhaps not a brick thin. To be fair, perhaps it actually is about a brick thin, but I've gone with the plate thickness at the front. And even though these four by four round plates are just hooked on there, you can lift it by the plate and I guess the plate underneath and wiggle it around and it's not coming apart or snapping off anytime soon. The only way I wouldn't recommend to lift it is by these clip and bar plates on the top. Now, whilst it doesn't look like it's altering it that much, 
it just moves the bars a little bit and there is that chance that the whole engine or some of these clips might come apart you drop the model it breaks and you don't want to damage your 330 second troopers you can see right on the front it looks quite clean and both of these troopers actually have their weapons hidden somewhere on the model which is my favorite feature because if you flip back these front bits you can see the guns actually clip on the inside as i said this uses four battle packs so you can't clip all 16 weapons but you can fit quite a few more clones on here and that is exactly what these jumper plates are but we'll take a look at that in a second you can see we have two of the slope pieces these were the slope pieces that i was mentioning earlier i have used every single one of them in this build just to get these front dishes looking the correct size to how they appear in universe if i compare it to a model of the swamp speeder from probably wikipedia you can see that hopefully it looks pretty accurate and the guns aren't the best i was initially going to put these stud projectiles coming off of a snot brick but then they angle too wide and i'd rather be able to fire both of these as they do in universe both cannons fire at the same time and i think that was more of an important play feature you just press these down and end up losing two of your studs in fact one of them studs went straight into me so as i said i'm going to need to start wearing some safety goggles when i'm testing out the stud shooters how many clones can we fit on the swamp speeder you can see the model well i do have a handful of clones here i think these are all the clones from three of the battle packs you'll have to imagine that the 501st helmets are 330 second because we have all of the other 330 second helmets on my display here you can see i've taken a 501st specialist pack swapped for the helmets with them we've got vaughn as well as a 330 second jump trooper and likewise i've also taken one of my captain vaughn's hold on i can't see a 501st captain well it's a good thing that i have a minifigure right here i can't believe i forgot to swap the helmets the other way around anyway the difference with this torso is the captain insignia on the lapel and also the mandalorian jetpack on the back these are the same ones that we see the imperial commandos wearing during the mandalorian so you could actually take a backpack off them and whack it on one of your captains but i guess for now this captain will have to take the spot of the 212th airborne and i'll just print off a, another hexagon to go down here for them at some point but all these different clones these are all different phase two clone troopers are looking really really nice on this wall and i'm happy that i spotted that i forgot to make a 501st captain back to the latest episode of how many clones can we fit on this custom swamp speeder i'm not going to make a video out of this i feel like at best these require a short so i'm just going to clip all the clones on and show you how many fit i always leave a handful of studs exposed especially on some of the larger models to keep that lego look and that's definitely helped fit in some more clone troopers so i've actually found one of the studs that i fired out earlier but i think the other one is lost to the abyss of the room so i'm gonna restock the ammo and take a look at all the clones i've managed to fit so not only can you fit 12 330 second clone troopers but they're also four groups of three so you can fit all of the regular clone troopers and have the four captain vaughns just running out front or as i've done perhaps use your captain torsos to create some customs for other characters that show up during the clone wars and add them to your displays instead you could even take the four 330 second helmets you've got spare add them to the 3501st specialist different types of torsos and keep a captain vaughn for display but of course i'm sure most of you who decide to build it will just be using the two clones perhaps you could even get a jedi riding on the swamp speeder as well because i think it does actually look really cool with at least one minifigure behind the driver you can see if that was a jedi that would make an awesome display or something on a mock and then you will have well if you've only got two clones driving you've got 10 clones helping push the assault 
and that is more than enough for a small attack group. It's now a bit later on in the day, but whilst editing the video for the Swamp Speeder, I started messing around with a few different formations and have built this very small mock out of these two legions of clone troopers. These two squads, each of them have nine clone troopers, and I am workshopping a future video breaking down the perfect layout for your clones. But you can see we've got the Swamp Speeder with Ahsoka standing, just like I mentioned, just behind one of the drivers, one of the pilots. And I do think that looks really, really cool for display. I've then connected a jump trooper to the engine at the back using that new translucent piece that I got from the Mandalorian Ambush Battle Pack. And that is a custom 330 second trooper, I think. All of my custom 330 seconds do appear. We've got the Heavy, the Specialist, and the Officer that have been tasked by Rex to go perhaps behind enemy lines, infiltrate them, and have their own missions. We've got a little briefing table down here, a little hologram, with a few of the crates from the Mandalorian Ambush Battle Pack stacked up around with, of course, thermal detonators inside. Rex has his helmet off because he's telling his crew what they need to do and this is rex's group of nine clones i guess i've included rex in that and then we've got ahsoka who is technically a citizen so we've got nine clones with her as well and i think this just looks really really cool and shows what you can do with a small vehicle a bunch of minifigures there are 18 minifigures in here but you do get 16 from the battle pack and then we've got Ahsoka, Rex, I guess there's 19 because you'd also need a bonus trooper. A few extra little pieces just to build the scene and you could whack a base plate down, add a few more textures to the floor. Though it's Mandalore, it's probably just going to be a black surface. So a dark table or in this case, just any sort of desk mat works as a background. And I just wanted to show you what you could do with a bunch of minifigures and a few little bricks and a custom built ship i think it looks really really cool but let's continue with the rest of the video so as i said at the start of the video i'm very happy that i finally got around to building this because i've had the sets in my collection for quite some time and i actually bought them with the intention of making this video and making a swamp speed up four times bigger than the original the 330 second battle pack is definitely one of my favorite lego star wars sets i'm a big big fan of the battle packs and it's close between this, the 501st Battle Pack from 2020. You know what, the 501st Specialist is good, but I still think there were a few different issues with it. But that's definitely a top set. Even the 2024 Clones vs. Droid Battle Pack. I'm just a massive fan of Clone Troopers and Battle Packs, as you can tell. So let me know what you think of the Swamp Speeder and what you thought of the 337 Battle Pack because that review was a long, long time ago and I'd love to hear how many of you have actually army built the set and have enough pieces to build the Swamp Speeder already. As I said, I will try to get the instructions up on Discord as soon as I can once this video goes out and eventually they will, of course, be on Rebrickable to buy and download as well. But thank you so much for all your support and if you can't afford a membership, please do drop a like on this video. It helps out a ton and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next Lego Star Wars mock. And that is all for today's video. May the bricks be with you always.